Inclusive leaders give and receive feedback from their teams and those they work with. That means that they're actively practicing helping people become better. See, in today's inclusive workplace, people grow and thrive when they're given tools to be a better version of themselves. And as a leader, I would argue you're at a vantage point that people simply cannot be in. We cannot see ourselves in the moment. We cannot see our own behavior, what we do and say, sometimes is lost on us and we need someone else to point that out. As a leader, I would offer a framework for giving powerful, meaningful, constructive feedback. And it requires three things. First, frame the situation. Who, what, where, when, how. Especially if there's been a time lapse, people need to be reminded of where they were and what was going on around them. Second, focus on key behaviors. This helps get away from the defensiveness and the feeling that Somebody has to defend their actions because it's a personal attack. So behaviors look something like, I saw you do this. I heard you say this. If you paint the picture for them and play back exactly what they said or did, it's hard to run from that type of feedback and it's hard to take it personally. Third, impact. Impact to the client, the business, the team member, whatever is important. And see, if you can paint a picture of, in this situation, you behave this way and it caused this impact. If it is a negative behavior that causes a negative impact, when people address that correlation, they will then change that behavior to avoid getting that impact in the future. Likewise, positive recognition, recognizing a positive behavior just the same way can also lead to more of that behavior in the future if it caused a positive impact. So inclusive leaders, practice feedback. They also receive feedback accordingly, and they give their teams meaningful feedback so that they can be better. What are you doing to be an inclusive leader? How are you giving feedback to those around you? This is why we've created a Lead Like an Ally program. The pilot is coming out this fall. In fact, we are launching in 2020 because we believe 2020 is the year of an ally. We would be thrilled if you would join us in that journey. Hindsight is 2020. The year 2020 is an important year for the 100th anniversary of women's suffrage. It also will be an important year for Pivot Point as we celebrate their brand new 52-week Lead Like an Ally program. Join us in the journey of inclusive leadership. We would love to have you. Simply check out the Lead Like an Ally page at nextpivotpoint.com. You can contact us there, watch all these great videos on your ally journey, and we look forward to hearing from you.